hi guys welcome back to my and my sister's youtube channel so this is my and my sister's youtube channel but it's just gonna be me this time since i am not in town and i'm not with her i'm currently in culiacan sinaloa and my sister's not here with me if not she, she would have been vlogging with me but i am here to share with you guys my nose job journey and just the whole process that's gonna go um before and after and i'm super excited i decided to vlog beforehand just to like let you guys know what's gonna be going on in these days i've been here for one day i got here yesterday and yeah this is my first full day here and it's currently nighttime but i'm in the car and i was just like oh let's start the vlog here because tomorrow i have my first um appointment for my surgery which is just going to be testing my blood and making sure that everything's going to go well and just to make sure that i'm healthy for the surgery and yeah i'm super excited honestly <laughs> This is me currently getting my hair done, as you guys can see. This is a lot of oil, but I haven't got my hair done in five months, and I will get it so bad. But this is the progress. Okay, you guys, so this is me two days later from the first time that you guys see me in the intro and I did throw in a clip of me getting my hair done just because I thought it was going to be interesting for the vlog and even though this is my nose job vlog I just have to just throw it in there just because and this is the first time I've got my hair done in almost five months I believe and yeah I absolutely loved it and actually two days after I filmed the intro I did go do some blood work, but I just didn't have time to film that because it was just hectic and I just wanted to be like extra precautious because of this whole coronavirus thing. And so I was just trying to take care of myself and leave as soon as possible. And I actually do have another appointment tomorrow. I'm going to try to get some clips in from tomorrow. Tomorrow they are testing me for COVID-19. And it's not because I want to, the doctor's making me um, get tested just so he could know that I don't have it or I didn't get it when I was on my way over here at the airport, um, just here where I'm at, just to be extra precautious. And I'm, I'm gonna be doing also, it's like x-rays I believe. It's like to check, make, to make sure my heart's um, healthy and running okay for surgery so that's just a little update what's gonna be going on or what you guys may be seeing okay guys so it's a couple days later and i'm here at the clinic i'm gonna do it's gonna be some heart x-rays and then it's gonna be i'm gonna be getting tested for covid so i'm kind of scared for that because i've heard it hurts and I'm not doing it because I want to, because I think I have it, but because it's required with everything going on, especially here. But yeah, I'm in line, and I have to wait to go in there. I'll try to vlog in there, but if I don't, I'll vlog after. So I'm here waiting, waiting for my turn. I'm gonna be doing the x-rays, but yeah, by myself. Okay, so I'm in the clinic now and I'm just waiting for my turn. They're gonna, I'm waiting for my turn and they're gonna call me. And yeah, I'm here by myself. Literally social distancing. Just waiting to get called. I don't even know what they're gonna do, honestly. I think it's just like pictures. And they're probably gonna like lay me down. I don't know. But yeah. Okay, you guys, so it's the day after since I went to do them. So I haven't told you guys what I want to fix or, like, why I want to do this nose job. So the main reason I want to do it is because I've always had a breathing problem. And those of you guys that do know me, if anybody that does know me is watching, I've always, like, complained about me not being, being able to breathe through my nose. I'm always, like out of breath having to breathe mostly through my mostly through my mouth 
and that's always been a problem for me. I've seen um, multiple doctors over there in um, California and also I've seen doctors here in Culiacan before because of my nose and yeah they've told me that the inside of my nose is um, like I believe it's like I don't know if it's called the deviated septum or something like that but basically um, the doctor is going to be fixing the inside of my nose so it's going to be cosmetic and also to fix my breathing problem and the second main reason is my bump I want to get rid of this bump that I do not like and I feel like throughout the years it's been growing more and I just hate it like I hate the bump and I also would like to fix like for it just to be a little bit more thinner from the front but other than that it's just mostly me being able to breathe better and not having a bump because I do not like my side profile at all so I do hope that he gives me the nose that I want and I know he will like I've been researching this doctor for so for so long now and I know people who have gotten their nose done by him so I'll probably be filming in there if he lets me or if I have like somebody to record for me and if not then I'll tell you guys how it goes after but yeah but yeah I'll be keeping you guys updated to see what he tells me and then I'll try to film in there and if I can't I'll just tell you guys like what he told me and all that good stuff so it's surgery day and I'm already in the room. They already put in treatment in my hand and I feel super sleepy and like I feel drunk. Like if I was drunk. This is my nose before. I'm super excited. I just wanna come on already. This is my hand. I'll show you guys a clinic. So my mom and my sister got me these. And my little brother too. <clears throat> They're across the room. And they got me those. And they're so cute. And then it says... Well, uh, it says recuperate pronto, te amamos. And then I also have the other flowers that somebody sent me. So I have two flowers. They're so cute. I love them. Okay, you guys. So I haven't vlogged because honestly, I was not feeling that good. I was just like super tired and I was sleeping mostly throughout like the whole day. And today it's been a week and i'm finally going to get my cast off and i'm so excited as you guys can see i did not honestly i'm so happy i did not get any bruising i think right here it like wanted to be a bruise but i didn't get a bruise it's just like yellow and then my cheeks just got really puffy it made my lips look like really small they are small but way smaller and uh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how my nose looks. Even though I know that it's not going to look um, how I want it to look right now. Because it's going to be super swelled up still. And it's going to take like six, to, six months or even up to a year to heal completely. But even though I'm still excited, I'm on my way right now to see the doctor. And hopefully... He tells me that I'm okay and that I am okay to go home finally. I just want to be home already. It's been it's been two weeks since I've been over here. And hopefully he tells me that I'm okay to leave so that I can be back home finally. Yeah. Um, I'll see if I can film in there.
Okay, you guys, so the video clips that you guys just seen were all filmed last year, 2020. And um, I was just very hesitant on posting this video just because it's a very controversial topic to talk about on social media. And I also wanted to wait till my nose was fully healed and that I was know that I was satisfied with my results, which I am. This is how my nose currently looks like. Okay, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions about my nose or my experience, please feel free to comment down below or follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram handle right here so you guys can follow me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.